thing on? <laughs> Hello. Today we're interviewing Arthur King, a.k.a. King Art. And we're just going to have a few questions for him. Uh, how you doing today, Mr. King? Uh, I'm doing fine. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> I'm, fine. I'm fine, sir. Great, excellent. Uh, I wanted to ask you, how did you get started with uh, Urban Gypsies Music Group Chicago? Well, I have a close friend of mine, Mr. Lawrence Matthews. Um, he met me, he uh, called up this guy named uh, BG and uh, told, him, told him that there was this guy that, that likes music. Plus, um, there's another per another person in the band that uh, I work I've been working with. Her name is Ashley Good, and uh, we had a, a group of songs put together, and it, it seems to just work out. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, who would you say are some of your musical influences? I've got so many, just I couldn't I couldn't name them in this one interview. You know, but one a, a couple of the the, the name would be. Uh, Stevie Wonder, Luther Vandross, Beers Favitas, Weather Report, Chick Corea, uh, uh, Bob Marley. I mean, all of them, any of them, whether whether it's they're Spanish, Chinese, <laughs> whatever. I uh, I played everything from classic to to hip hop to to uh, west, uh, country and western. Sounds like it crosses a lot of different I've musical crossed, genres. I, it has, and I have crossed a lot of different boundaries, yes. Now, you know, that raises the question of, you know, with the state of the music industry these days, uh -huh. and uh, I know from our research that uh, you have played all over the nation mm -hmm. on an international basis, mm -hmm. and you see the music industry as it is. Uh -huh. uh, how do you think that uh, is affecting musicians these days and uh, is the music industry harder to deal with now? Well, in a sense, it's, in, in some ways it's harder, and in another sense it's easier. Um, it's, it's harder in the sense that there's, there's so many different uh, facets out there, there's so many different uh, uh, very good musicians that are out there that the market is flooded with these, with these same type of people. I want to try to be a little bit different. But at the same time, it's easier because you, you've got the internet, you've got technology, you've got all these different things that are going on that allow you to um, um, get yourself out there a lot easier if you know what you're doing. I see. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you this uh, final question. Okay. Uh, besides your own instrument, right. which is the guitar, yeah. what instrument would you be? And why? Me. Yes. That's my answer. Me. You would be the instrument itself. Yes. I sing. I play guitar. Um, I, I do have, uh, I can play percussion. I can play some keyboard. Um, you know, uh, but if you were to be specific, I'd be a horn. A horn? A tuner. Hmm, that's interesting. Do you think uh, the horn sounds Influences well, your well, playing. The, the timbrance and the clarity of a horn, whenever you uh, actually play it, and and its uh, brilliance. You know, I see. Kind of describes that. Okay. Well, uh, we really appreciate you taking this time out of your busy schedule to uh, talk with us. Yes. And uh, much success yes, uh, you. with uh, UGMGC, yes. Urban Gypsies Music Group Chicago, and I know you have a number of uh, individual projects that are coming out oh, and yeah. uh, there'll be more information about that later, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd be more than happy to I'll share it with you when, when that chance comes, when that comes, comes about. Okay, great, great. We've just uh, finished interviewing uh, Arthur King, Art King, King of Art, and once again, thank you very much. Yeah. Is this thing really on? <laughs>